Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Last time we left off, we went to the nuclear power plant and got attacked by this scary looking nuclear Pokemon which unfortunately I failed to catch. But today, with that done, we are going to take on the gym. I think that experience has made us strong. Sure hope so anyway. Where's the gym? Is this it? That's not the gym. The gym's this way, isn't it? Yeah, it's right up here. Alright, I don't know what type of gym this is, but as you can see, I have put Turlard back into the party. And hopefully our team's going to be able to handle this. Uh, you know, let's have Kinetmonk lead it off, because Kinetmonk's like really fast. And I think that's the only change I'm going to make. Other than that, we're good, I think. Alright, maybe it's a water gym? Uh, it looks like we're going underwater, which could be really cool. Okay, we're not quite underwater, I think. Maybe we are. I don't know, but I'm going in here. All I know is the gym music's pretty cool. Hello. There's no gym guy here, by the way. That's kind of weird. Prepare for trouble. I mean, let's battle. Hmm. Hmm. This guy may be fishy, and not just because this is the water gym. Alright, um... Thundershock. So yeah, I guess it's a really good thing. Oh, right. He's ground grass. Okay, so this might not be the water gym, perhaps, or maybe it is. But they just also have this Kokoran character because he's actually quite good in a water gym. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to switch out because of Sandtomb, but if we can, I think I want to send out Turlard. Yeah, I can't switch out. That kind of sucks. Um, let's have Kinet Monk use Quick Attack. I don't know why I thought this guy was water type, so yeah, that's a pretty big mistake on my part. I really wish I could switch out just so... Well, I probably have a revive somewhere in my inventory, so... Hopefully I can use that on... Okay, he just, uh... Oh, he didn't use the ghost type curse. He used the, the curse that just makes his speed go down and all his other stats go up. But it just said his speed went down, so... I'm not sure. Maybe his other stats didn't go up. Anyway, let's send out Turlard and just have him give this fool a magnitude. Magnitude 6. Okay, that's kind of... sort of okay. Oh, it's not very effective. Maybe I shouldn't have used Turlard. I forget how to play Pokemon, everyone. Alright, let's just use Slash, because that's going to do some damage for sure. And Turlard seems like a beast of a physical attacker. Plus the... Oh, speed fell. Yeah, just a speed fell. I'm assuming it is raising his other stats. Maybe it just doesn't say. Yeah, Turlard is a beast of a physical attacker. Plus, Slash has the chance for a critical hit. Alright, Fullerog. Alright, so yeah, we do want to switch into... Oh, right, Kinet Monk has been fainted. Okay, we'll switch into Orchinx. Um, and probably just use Vine Whip, I guess. Should I have Hone Claws first? Let's Hone Claws first, and then we'll use Vine Whip. I don't think I need to use Leaf Seed here, because I don't think Fullerog can do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, six damage, it's like nothing. You're nothing! Get Vine Whipped! Okay, yeah, that's right, you're Poison type as well. Okay, um, maybe we'll try Metal Claw? Is this gonna work? No. For whatever reason, I keep thinking Steel is, like, super effective against Poison, but I guess not. It's probably normally effective against Poison and, like, not very effective against Water, now that I think about it. So, it looks like Vine Whip is our option, and it looks like I am gonna have to heal up Orchinx little bit. I might be out of potions though, so I might have to actually go back to the Pokemon Center. That would be embarrassing. Well, I did my best. Yeah, you sure did, you jerk. Alright, let's see if we got any revives. I think I do. I think I have at least one. Yeah, I had picked up that one behind the Pokemon Center. And I had another one on me somewhere. Um, four store. We have a few super potions, so we'll give one to Kinet Monk. And we'll give one to Turlard, because Turlard's down the most, and also Orchinx has the ability to regenerate health. So we will go... Oh, hello, Sailor. You will be sunk like the Titanic. Alright, this guy's got Ice-type Pokemon, everyone. we got to be really careful here. And wait a minute, that's not an Ice-type. I thought you said you'd seek me like the Titanic. You're no Iceberg. You're a phony. This is just a Magikarp. Though, hey, uh, you know, Magikarp is, has been defeated, so I'm fine with that. And he's got another Magikarp, okay. What is this guy, and what is this Joker trying to... Who's he trying to fool here? Although this Magikarp is pretty strong, just in terms of level. Uh, Kinet Monk can still take this guy out, and... Oh, Flail's actually gonna hurt quite a bit. Oh, not really. Flail does, uh, more damage the less HP the user has, so I'm surprised it didn't do more damage. 
All right, Cadet Monk gets through that one and levels up to 24. Trying to learn Double Team. Okay, this could be pretty good. Let's see if there's anything we want to get rid of right now. Let's see, we have... Yeah, let's get rid of Growl. That's an easy choice. Double Team could be pretty good, especially against really strong opponents. Kokoran. So yeah, I'm going to switch out. I've learned my lesson. And we will send out a Shouten. The Shao Ten is the best matchup against Kokoran, and it took me this long to figure that out. So let's just use Wing Attack, and we'll be done with it. Right? Oh no, I was hoping the Sharp Beak would give me the extra edge I needed to KO this Kokoran. And wow, Crab Hammer doing a lot of damage. I mean, no, it's a powerful move, but I didn't think it was that powerful. I guess it is. Alright, level 25. And wow, a Shao Ten trying to learn Confusion. That is good. Yes, we will make room for Confusion for sure. Let's get rid of... Hmm, no, Foresight's actually kind of good. But then again, if I have Confusion, I can hit Ghost types. I don't think Psychic is super effective against Ghost, though. Hmm. You know what? I am gonna get rid of Foresight for Confusion. I think it's good. And then I'll check a Shao Ten's uh, special attack stat to see if that's a viable option for me right now. And also, since um, if a Shao Ten is part Psychic type now, then that's gonna be great. Nope, just normal flying. Alright, uh, special attack's only 39. Yeah, Confusion's not gonna be a great move, but it'll give us some coverage at the very least. Alright, let's go down to the next floor. We have more trainers. Oh, do you have any water types? I do not, actually. You know, this clever trainer here has pointed out a weakness on my team. Thank you, Swimmer Monica, for allowing me to see the lights. Actually, I'm just gonna use Charge. Hopefully reduce some damage incoming from this Fortog. Let's see, use Bubble Beam, so that was a good move. Uh, yeah, that could have done a lot more damage, so I'm glad that happened. Thundershock's gonna be powerful enough to KO this Fortog in one hit. So I think if she has another water type, I'll keep Kinect Monk out. Uh, no, Spony's not, so we're gonna send out a Shouten. Because Spony's a bug type, for sure. I know for a fact he's a bug type. And let's use Wing Attack, and that should do it in one hit, right? I think for sure it will. Yes, it will indeed. Good job, Bishal Ten. I keep forgetting how much of a beast you are. Bishal Ten can learn Zen Headbutt. That'd be great. Ooh, Greylip. That's the psychic water fish thing. So let's switch back to Kinet Monk. And we'll open up with a charge to raise our special defense back up. And then we'll just go for a Thundershock to hopefully um, KO it one hit after that. I don't think it'll work though. Thundershock's are not the most powerful electric type move. Water Pulse, that's gonna do some damage. Okay, I didn't get confused from it though. So let's use Thundershock, hope for the best. Yeah, Braylip's pretty tanky. Oh, it's paralyzed though. If it's fully paralyzed, we've got this. No, use Water Pulse again. Hang on there, Kinect Monk. Oh no. All right, so we're gonna have to send out another Pokemon. Hmm, against this Water Fish. Let's send out Mankey, you know? Mankey can take this guy out with one Karate Chop. Right, Mankey? No, apparently you can't. I probably should have just used Assurance instead. Yeah, Water Pulse is going to hurt Mankey quite a bit. Ooh, ouch. Oh no, he's Karate Chop an accident. Okay, but it was a critical hit, so... Mankey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to do that, buddy. Alright, 500 EXP. Eh, that's decent, I guess. Jeez, I lost. Yes, you did. And I don't have any Water types. Now what do I want to do? I think I like the team as it is now. I don't think I want to switch it up. Faroki's not going to get much action here because it's a water gym. Turlard's also not going to get much action because it's a water gym. You are an inferior trainer. Well, that's not very nice. You don't even know me. I haven't even battled you yet. How would you know? Beauty Claire, if that is your real name. You and your Flaffy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send out Turlard because... Oh, well, not cancel. Because Turlard has a clear advantage here, immune to most of Flaffy's attacks. Charge up all you want, Flaffy. Charge up all you want. I'm not using any special attacks. Instead, I will use Magnitude and hopefully like Magnitude 10. 6. Okay, 6 is acceptable in this case because it's super effective anyway. Wow, it still didn't KO Flaffy. Is it Flaffy or Flaffy? I don't know, actually. Hmm, there's two A's there. I might have been pronouncing it wrong my whole life, which is not surprising given the names of Pokemon. They're never never really that easy to pronounce. Even the most common ones like Pikachu. Alright, Claire's gonna send out Elitux, so 
I think I'll stick with Turtle Art, actually. I think we'll just try another Magnitude, and it will be very good. Magnitude 7. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, Elotux taken out in one hit. Good job, Turtle Art. I knew I should have brought you back onto the team instead of that egg. I mean, come on. The freaking egg can't even... <gasps> Dual Chop! Oh my gosh! Yes, yes, Dual Chop all the things. Get rid of uh, Growl. That's, who needs to Growl when you can Dual Chop things? Good job, Turtle Art. You are amazing now. Oh, now we can take on that one jerk with the turtle art. I'm still better than you. No, you're not. Well, maybe it, maybe you're better at, than me at being a beauty, which is perfectly acceptable in my opinion, because I don't strive to nor try to be a beautiful person physically. Not saying I don't care about my appearance. I just don't like go like, hey, I'm going to use makeup and make myself look good. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just that's not my thing. And I think that everyone should be accepting of everyone else who, who for them, it is their thing. And I'm trying to think of what kind of a matchup I want here. I think we go with... I think we stay, stick with Orchinx, actually. Um, I'm going to use Leech Seed just in hopes of getting a lot of my health back. Oh, right, it has Bite. That's kind of annoying. Hmm, can Orchinx take another bite? And Orchinx is going to be slower, so it might flinch. Let's go for... Home Claws. Oh, it has Ice Fang. This could be really bad. This could... Well, this is already really bad. I don't think Orchinx can take another hit from either Ice Fang or Bite. Maybe it can. Orchinx, are you going to be alright? I think you're going to be alright. Let's try this. Bite... Oh no, I was wrong. I was very wrong. I should have counted how much uh, health that was doing. Alright, let's send out Mankey because Mankey's a tough guy. And let's have him use Karate Chop because I think this guy might be part Dark type. That might be enough to... Wow. Okay, Mankey, you are... You were kind of pathetic when it comes to your defense, so... Uh, no. Alright, um... You know what? It's going to seem like a weird option, but I'm going to send out Faroki. And I'm going to use Nightshade. I think Nightshade might be a good option here. And use Bite instead of Aqua Jet, giving me an opportunity to get at least one Nightshade down. Oh, and Leech Seed is still active from Orchinx. That is great. All right, that is awesome. Uh, use Bug Bite. Let's see if it is Dark type. If it's Dark type, it'll get hurt by Bug Bite a lot. Or, well, not necessarily a lot, but at least be super effective. All right, Faroki, you can do it. No flinching. Use Bug Bite. And he flinched again. Okay, well, don't worry, Faroki. Your lack of combat efficiency will be made up for the fact that uh, Orchinx laid down a leech seed. Come on. Alright, so yeah, Tubjaw is definitely part dark type. Dark water is my guess. Good to know. Good job, Faroki. Kokoran. Um, you know, as strange as it is, I'm going to leave Faroki out because I'm confident in Faroki's ability to bug bite. That was probably not a good idea. Okay, we got really lucky. Kokoran missed with Crab Hammer. I thought for sure Faroki would be faster. Okay. This is, uh, the moment of truth. If you can do this, Faroki, you are amazing. Okay, never mind. Crab Hammer's definitely gonna take you out. Oh, and a critical hit at that. Dang it, I, I was gambling. I thought Faroki could do it, but unfortunately, I was wrong. Alright, Ashalten, this is your matchup after all. Give it a quick attack and finish it. That's all we need. Good job, Shout Ten. And yeah, get lots of EXP. I'm having a bad day. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your day improves. Talk to you never. Because that's just how these games work. Alright, let's find this guy. I'll eat some fried Magikarp later. Oh my gosh, you eat Pokemon? Is that acceptable? Do, do people eat Pokemon? What do, what do people eat in this world? I mean, I've pondered that a few times, but I always thought that they, they they didn't eat Pokemon. I don't think you. And why is he? Why does he use Magikarp if he's going to eat Magikarp? That's messed up. He's going to eat his own Pokemon. This guy must be stopped. This is really messed up and weird. And also, he's always oh, now he has a Gyarados, of course. All right, level ten Gyarados. Really? All right. Um. Let's go with Sing. Okay, maybe that was a bad choice. Gyarados has some powerful attacks, like Thrash. Okay, uh, let's just go for Confusion. 
Oh, that's a shiny attack. Alright, you know what? Maybe maybe wing attack was the better option. Let's just try that. I was consider I was concerned about the intimidate lowering my attack, so I guess I didn't play that one quite as well as I could have. I will fry all my Pokemon. Yeah, this guy's gotta be stopped. You must be stopped, you jerk. Working in the gym is so boring. I stay here all day and can't even move my legs or anything. Well, that is your life now, because now that the main character has come and passed through here, you are condemned to stay in the same spot and never have any interaction with anyone for the rest of your life. Because that's how Pokemon games work. That's what he gets for frying his Pokemon, you know? Alright, so there's the gym leader. We're obviously not uh, fit to take on the gym leader right now, so... Let's go heal up our Pokemon, and then we'll try to devise a strategy. I have a bad feeling she's going to lead off with a Kokoran, so what I'm going to do is lead off with a Shouten, just in case. And even if she doesn't lead off with a Kokoran, a Shouten is a pretty good fighter in just about any situation, so I think that is the, the safe move. And then I want to use Mankey second if I can. I mean, it depends on the matchup for sure, but I would like to get Mankey some EXP, so... He will evolve, and also because I have no idea why Mankey hasn't evolved yet. I, I thought for sure Mankey evolved at like level 22 or something, but maybe in this game it's changed for some reason. And obviously Kinetmunk, Orchinx are good. Faroki and Turlard are going to hold up the back of the party. Just because they're not um, they're not great matchups here. They can hold their own. Faroki has proved that. Turlard has proved that, so... You know, it's not that I'm, I don't believe in them, I just I don't want to set them up for failure if I don't have to. If the matchup is right, you'll be sure that I'll send them out and everything will be fine and it will work. Let's go all the way over here. Alright, let's see what you have to say. Who are you, gym leader? Oh yeah, Callie. Hey, have you been having fun? I'm Callie, the gym leader of Beale Beach City. It should be pretty obvious that I use beach Pokemon, right? Oh, right, it's beach Pokemon, not water Pokemon necessarily. Let me tell you a little about myself. When I was little, I thought it would be a good idea to go out swimming where there wasn't a lifeguard. Suddenly, a riptide swept my feet out from under me. I thought I was going to drown. That's, that's kind of a scary story. But then I felt something underneath me. It was a brain ore, and it carried me to safety. From there on, I decided to become a Pokemon trainer and a lifeguard. My Pokemon have saved countless lives, so they're pretty strong. But enough talk, let's battle. Well, I commend you for that. Saving lives is always a good option, Callie, so... Your Pokemon, although they will be defeated, uh, they should be commended. Oh, we got Corsola. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't want a Shouten out now. Didn't expect that. Rock Water is probably going to open up with a Rock Blast, so I'm going to switch to Orchinx. Steel Grass is like a hard counter to Rock Water. Yeah, this is not going to hurt very much. I don't think she'll switch out, but she might, so I'm going to use Leech Seed. Alright, she didn't switch out, so that's perfect. Corsola is going to give us health over time. Opening with another Rock Blast, uh, probably a good move to be honest. Corsola doesn't have many attacks that are good, but Rock Blast definitely is one of them. Alright, so we're going to use Hone Claws like twice here, just because we can. If we can get Orchinx beefed up enough, Orchinx can take out this entire gym single-handedly. Bubble Beam, another decent attack. But luckily this Leech Seed is making it relatively safe to be able to use Hone Claws several times. And then we're going to use Metal Claw because... Oh no, 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 we shouldn't use Metal Claw, we should use Vine Whip because it's a 4x weakness, not Metal Claw. I was thinking Metal Claw because it's a Rock type, but we should definitely use Vine Whip now, and that's what I'm going to do. That should take out Corsola no problem. And Orchinx is free to wreak havoc now. Good job of Shouten for leading off the battle and Orchinx for just picking up the slack. We're not going to switch. I am going to use uh, Vine Whip right off the bat though. Because I know I'm not going to be... Ooh, use Pursuit. I know it wasn't going to be fast enough, so ooh, this is, this is pretty bad. Oh, using a Super Potion. I should have expected that, but... Nope, we're okay. Vine Whip still does a lot of damage. We're gonna use it again. And, oh, another Super Potion. Okay, that's fine. Use all your potions. That's fine by me. Oh, man. Yeah, again, the reason I, I use Vine Whip right away, Coral Break, That's that sounds scary, uh, is because Orchinx is not fast. So, we just need to attack at this point. We don't have time to put down Leech Seed. 
Uh, Braylip. Uh, I will not switch. And we will use Vine Whip. Come on. Oh, so close. Alright, Braylip using Water Pulse. Good attack. Almost good enough. That was a little bit scary. We'll use Vine Whip again. Good job, Warchinx. You have done incredible work on this gym. Alright, uh, Callie is going to send out Carol. Carol. Carrorealm. Carrorealm. Okay, Carrorealm. Kind of a hard <laughs> word to say. Um, I will switch Pokemon though, because Orchinx is just barely hanging in there. So let's send out Mackie, because it almost sounds like it could be some kind of like coral type thing Pokemon. I was wrong. Uh oh. Alright, Mackie. Hit it with your best karate chop, Leaf Blade. Okay, it's a gra. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay, um, Ishouten, go! Take out this Grass-type fool with Wing Attack. That might not actually be enough. Ooh, it's close. Crab Hammer, oh no. Oh, that's a powerful attack. Can you finish it with one more Wing Attack, Ishouten? Alright, great, it's Grass Water too, so it's a good thing I sent out Ishouten. I was thinking of sending out Faroki, but I, I thought Ishouten was the safer play. You deserved it. Why, thank you. That was a good battle. Great match. You sure are strong. Here, take this Tide Badge. Alright, we got the Tide Badge from Kali. It's time to partay. Oh, and we got TMO3 Water Pulse. That's pretty good. I should see if anyone can learn that, because that's a really good water type move. And if anyone could learn that, then... I, I, first of all, I doubt it, but... Second of all, that'd be really good coverage. Water Pulse. Okay, it's right at the top here. TMO3... Yeah, we're going to teach Water Pulse to nobody, because nobody can learn it. Okay, I didn't think so, but it would have been a great opportunity to give someone some good coverage. I didn't think anyone could learn it, but again, that would have been nice to have. But we did it. We beat the gym. I was a little bit hesitant to take it on, because I was kind of in a situation where I was like, okay, well, you know, all these, these trainers out here are being very good at the game, and it's quite hard to... Um, what's the word for it? You know, progress and, uh, what, what's the other word for it? Well, basically, they were really strong. They were kicking my butt, so I, I thought the gym might be pretty tough, too. And it was, but not tough enough. That trip to the power plant really helped. Alright, let's check out our party now. Hmm. You know what, I think we'll just keep it as is. No reason to switch it up. And actually, let's check the map real quick. Just to check where we're going. Alright, we're at Beale Beach City, so we either have to go to... Is this the nuclear power plant? That might be the nuclear power plant. Judging by the direction that it is. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to go back down and go this way. No, because we're going to have to surf, maybe. Because there's like two bodies of water to either side of this. Maybe we go all the way around to Legend Town. Where do we come from? Yeah, we, went, we came from Rockville, so maybe we have to go to Legend Town. Hmm, I don't know. Where do I go? Um, I'm a little nervous about this. Is there anything... Okay, there's nothing over here, right? Yeah, we, we've been there. That's just the park. Go this way? We go this way. I don't want to go to where the wild Pokemon are, though, so... Oh, right, right. We don't go down that way. That's just the beach. And there's nothing to the far right, is there? Nah, nothing but water anyway. I mean, nothing wrong with water, but I, I, I need a route to go to. So yeah, I guess we are going to have to leave Beale Beach from the way we came and go to the next area. So I'm, I'm going to leave it here, because I don't know where to go. <laughs> um, if you guys could point me in the right direction, I'd appreciate it. Uh, without spoiling too, if possible. Just... Uh, I don't know. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll go south and I guess I'll find out. I don't know. <laughs> but that's going to do it for me for today. So thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.